In this video, I'll show you how you can add gradient animations in your storyline course as a background, which will enhance the value of your overall course. For this video, I'll have one slide and I'll show how you can tweak the properties so that the gradient effect shows up. Now I'll create one slide. I'll go to insert text box and I'll just have a heading which says, let's begin the course. I'll center line it and I'll just change the font to ITC and have around 30 points as the font size. Now, after this, I'll go to, okay, I'll just adjust this a little bit. I'll go to insert button and I'll have a basic button ready and I'll just say begin. And here also I'll change the font to ITC event. And probably the color I'll have is white because the gradient contrast needs to be shown. So I'll go to format, button fill and white and then the text i need to change it to quicker perfect so this is what um, is there on the slide and i'll just probably select everything go to arrange and center align it awesome now what you need to do is first make the properties of the slider as transparent by that i mean you go to player and here you uncheck all the resources my new glossary notes first so that nothing is visible on the screen then you go to colors and effects and here go to show advanced color editing and under the main background base you have to make all of these transparent so you'll go to base main background make it 100 percent transparent go to main border left separator and make everything 100 percent transparent once you have done that you will see that it's just a rectangular box on the screen and nothing else click ok one more thing you need to do is right click on the slide, go to format background and make the transparency as 100%. Even this should be 100% so that it blends with the background. Once everything is done, you can go to publish. And then I'll just change the name to gradient one and you publish the file. Great. Now your file is published. Just click open. and you'll see all your components here. The next thing you need to do is to download a JavaScript API called Grenim.js, which enables you to embed those moving gradients inside your storyline or HTML5 files. So you go to Google, type Grenim.js, click the website, and then you can download the source code or the zip file. So here you can see the source code downloaded. Now I have already downloaded it and I have placed the folder alongside the storyline output folder next thing is go to the folder go to dist and just copy the grenim.main file go back to your storyline folder output storyline output and place the file inside the folder so i've already placed it before next thing is to create your own source file or the javascript file which will tell the javascript api what colors to run and how much speed there should be so you go to the source code you can use any source code i use visual code editor you go inside the gradient source file and you create a new file let me just name that file as my script.js now you need to paste a code which you can find it in the examples of grenim.js website so you see js html css i have all the code ready i will just paste this take this code and paste it inside my source code folder save it you can now see that in my um, storyline output folder there is grenim.min which we just pasted and also there is my script now what you need to do is you can actually go and change your colors you can have all the hex colors here so you can put in maybe your um, company colors or any particular color you want you can have those animated in the background now we need to tweak the storyline html5 file so for that i will click the storyline html5 you will see there's a lot of code here which we need not worry about the first step is to go again back to the example html and just take this canvas html tag 
here you will paste it under the body tag so you can see that is this is the body i will just go here and i'll paste it which i have already done canvas id uh, equals to canvas basic right now this is done and what else you need to do is you go back to uh, the website go to css and take the canvas basic css components go back to the file html storyline file and then under the style tag you, you see this is um, the head tag i will paste my canvas.basic the file which you copied one additional thing you need to do is you have to go and put a z index which is basically the um, hierarchy so you want your background animation in the background uh, you do not want to cover your storyline component so i will have added one more component called z index and i have given the value as minus one and you can close the style tag so open the style tag put in the canvas basic css which you can find uh, from here and then close the style tag along with the z index the last thing we need to do is to reference our folder so i'll go extreme down and just below the body i will have two scripts So here I will just take a source and first I will put the granim.min.js, the one which we copied earlier in the video. And the next would be our personal file script source and my script.js. And then let me close the script tag. Okay, sorry. Save the file. Now, once this is done, you are ready to view the output. So you can go here, go to storyline.html5, and hopefully should be able to see the background colors and your components in the foreground. So there you go. You can see that there is a blended animation happening in the background. And let's begin the course. And you have your title and the button. You can add as many slides as you want with the same steps as I, sh as I showed. and like this, you can build your entire course. Thank you.